Hello there everyone, this is Iron Mark 3 and welcome back to the cold, cold, uncaring space that is Duskers. Mm -hmm. And to me in a bit of, of a pickle. I've reconfigured the drones as I said I would after last time and I've realised that uh, basically my combat abilities are completely scuppered at this point. I've lost my turrets, I've lost all my shields, so my only offensive weapon right now is actually my trap module. <laughs> and we know how well that worked last time when it blew up LV, so yeah. Hmm. And the thing is, without, without a shield I can't do that suicide charge with the uh, the traps anyway and expect to survive. So, much not much to do. Also, I promised his owner to be my lead drone, so just send him straight into harm's way. And Marvin, Ron and Ian all need names because... Oh, so does Brandon as well. It's been a few weeks since I've done that, hasn't it? But, um, yeah. They need names. Let's see. <clears throat> Thing is, I want to go to the trader to try and find any things, but that's so much fuel to get over there. For the, um, I could either check the trader. Oh, wait, it's going to be the same anyway, because um, I could go to the Dawn Driver and then to the Cronin, and that'll cost me all my standard movement. Or I can go to the Trader and the Hanail, which is only a Class C, but it's, it's worth it to check out the Trader and maybe I'll offload some things, so I'm just going to go this way. Well, I've got a turret module, that's great. Um... Oh, hello, my remote power is back. No, wait, I picked that up in the last last one, didn't I? Never mind, it's not back. Hmm. But more importantly, I can offload some of this broken gear I've got now. So let's do that. Let's grab the turret, because that'll let me actually start killing things again. You know, kind of nice. Uh, what else do I want? I would like the spare scanner module, because I suspect... Oh no, I've got a whole bunch of spare scan modules right now. I don't actually need one. How am I doing for mines? <clears throat> no, I don't have a mine module, actually. That might give me more combat options, but... No, actually. I've got traps, so... Leave the mines for the moment. Do I have anything to get rid of? Just the turrets. Yeah, I guess that's it, then. I've swapped out some of my defunct stuff and got a, an actual functional turret out of it, so... I can use that. Let's take the probe off Ian and give the turret instead. So I've, I'm bringing the turret into the missions now. And I actually have that, so if I come across guard bots I can shoot them for the scrap. That is excellent. Also my ship is slowly breaking. Hmm. I should probably fix that at some point. How much will that cost me, actually? Repair ship upgrade slots will cost me 10. Oh, I can, I can do that straight away. And of course it only fixed one. Okay, so I need to spend another 10 to get the other ship upgrade slot fixed. Oh, it's 11 for that one. Okay. So that one's a little bit worse off, but... Uh... Hey! Don't say it was... No, the upgrades are fine. It's, it it didn't fix the second module. So that, that slot is still busted. What? Repair a ship slot. Yes, thank you. Will you fix the correct one? Oh, yes, it did. Okay. That's a bit random, that. <laughs> Either that or I repaired the wrong thing. I'm not sure what. But, hmm. Oh well. That means I've spent all of my scrap reserves and I'm not sure if I should have. But at least this ship's been patched up. But, so there is that. Okay. Begin. This is only a class C, so I'm not expecting much. Yep, all powered. One infestation type. Whoops, didn't mean to... <laughs> Things 
I don't know what's in here. Oh, leaper. Okay. Right, so I've got a leaper down there. Okay, this room is safe. Loot. Just back up a bit. D5. Just watch for the leaper to come through. Because I I don't need to use the stealth module, basically. D8 can close. And goodbye, leaper. <laughs> I am so brave and foolhardy because I searched the entire place without using any scouting modules at all. I just poked my nose into a room and hoped nothing would bite it off. <laughs> to be fair, I have... That is kind of my reputation in this game, isn't it? I can be just a tad reckless sometimes. But honestly, on, on such a small ship, I didn't see any point in using my stealth module, so... And I didn't... I did, I did listen for swarms. I didn't mention it at the time, but I did listen for swarms. Because if I'd come into a swarm, that would have been nasty, but I could have backed up and stealthed, so I would have been okay anyway, so... Yeah. And there's, there's the fact that Leaper doesn't leap at you, supposedly, unless it's in the same room, so... I was safe from that, too. I mean, it didn't jump at me through the door, because I didn't cross the threshold into the next room. So... I, I guess that counts as abusing game mechanics, or something like that. Not entirely sure. Private barge, not interested. Uh, fuel depot, not interested. There's a Class C Muteki over here, which I do want to check. Not, only a bunch of stations. Okay, so I've, I've almost picked this area clean of everything I wanted to, to check out. Oh, that's two jump fuel away. That's just rude, but... Do I want to check these or do I don't want to leave them? Uh, it's, it's more stuff for less fuel spent, so... Yeah. I'll just go. I'll go loot and pillage and burn the village. And all shall bow before me. Because that is how this thing goes, so yeah. Okay, begin. Okay, power to all of the things. And there's absolutely nothing in either of these places. Okay, right, pushing forward then. Wait, what was the status on this? I didn't look at two infestations. Okay. Gun turret. Uh, da -da -da. Empty ship upgrade slots. Fine. D10. Stealth. D23. Push on through here. Nothing nibbly. Okay. Now, so there is a slight infestation. Uh, no, a slight um, confession I need to do. And that is the fact that. Uh, I have had a whole the I hear a swarm. That's the fact that I have had the uh, the situation of what's going on divulged to me. So yeah, I was told in the comments what the overall story is and wh what's happened and why you're out here. So. And what the, what duskers are, and I don't know if any of this is corroborated in the actual story itself, as in stuff I find. It may be, it may not be, but the thing is, the the game has been extremely vague as we go along anyway, so I suspect it wouldn't be, which what might be why LB told me these things. But um, he got it from a friend who got it straight from the developer, so probably pretty accurate. Hello, Leaper. Basically, what's happened is 
Duskers are a group of people sent through an anomaly. One way trip, kind of thing. So, as as right about being sent somewhere somehow, though I wasn't sure how. And as for the last hope of humanity, no, I am not. I am not that special, sadly. I must cry the tears of my own inadequacy, but I'll save them until later. Because I am not the most important be-all, end-all thing. I am very important, but not the most important, because I am one Dusker of many. Which actually makes sense, really, because... Um, it, it probably... It, it helps tie everything together. Like, um, all these different people playing this game, getting their own way through, random generation, all that. So, you're all jumping through, and checking things out, and all that stuff, so... Yeah, makes sense in, from that respect, from a meta perspective. So, can't fault it there. But basically, you've got this anomaly. You've jumped through. Um, all, you and many other Duskers. Um, the messages that I've been reading are, indeed, directed to me personally. Uh, as far as anyone can tell. Because um, someone back home in the world that I have left behind and apparently forsaken, but I'm not too sure knows me and is sending messages after me because as we've already worked out can't send messages back so one way trip but the point of the Duskers is we're trying to find out what's happened because the anomaly we went through leads to the future door being attacked door 14 okay Stealth. Let's open door 8 so that we can get this one a place to go to. Good. There we go. Now, I need to flag room 16 because that is the thing. So, yeah. We've been sent through. There's no way back. That's the anomaly that's been mentioned in the um, logs. And the fact that um, someone actually had to ask the developer and got told this directly, I suspect means that um, we couldn't get this information comprehensively any other way? Question mark? So... Yeah, it's probably the only way we could have got it. Or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's just the backstory and it's not clear in the game. Either way, that's what's been said. And people back home worked out that the anomaly led to a future where humanity has been destroyed. Which, um, yeah, we've been seeing all the way, all the time. And they wanted to find out what happened, and I think they're trying to hope, hoping to find a cure or work out why it's happened, what's caused it, yada, yada, yada. So, so people are being sent through, and those are the Duskers. We're going through here trying to find out what happens to humanity and if there's a way to stop it. Though, sadly, my searching has been kind of fruitless in that regard because I really don't know what's happened to humanity and I have also not found a way to stop it. So, you know, so far I have not managed to do a thing. Um, A6, open D27, open. Let's go ahead and salvage that spare drone. So, yeah. One way trip to the future trying to find things out. Though, sadly, that actually raises another question. Is it a one-way trip? Is it not? Because if it was a one-way trip, then what the hell's the point? Basically. Because if there's no way to get the information back... Then... How will us going forward and finding out help? Or are we some kind of seeding force trying to remake humanity? I don't know. There's, there's a couple of holes in the, th in the story. Uh, I don't know. Well, that, that's as far as my understanding of it goes. Because we can't send messages back, it seems. Now, that also begs the question, how do we know that we have seen the end of humanity in this place? That humanity is dead and gone? How do we know? We don't really, do we? Unless there's some way to get information from beyond the Singularity. Maybe mechanical probes can come back. 
because um, information transmission certainly can't, as far as we can tell. And for some reason, dogs are still alive as well, which um, is a little bit odd, but hey, there you go. Let's see, there's nothing in here, so... Yep. Okay. So... A4 can open, vent those guys out to space, because I do not want them around. So there's got to be a way to get information back. But the problem is finding the stuff and sending it back. And I actually find this very intriguing. Because either LB did tell me and I forgot, or... Well, actually, that's most likely, yeah. LB told, probably told me in the comments and I've forgotten that on spur of the moment. Some of it. But... This involves time travel and or alternate dimensions. So it's like... Don't know what's going on. Don't know how to save people, how to find these things. All I'm finding really is dead ends and exploring what happened. 28, close. Okay. And this is the last room, so it should be where the fuel silo is. Or not. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, I found the silo in room 5. <laughs> Stupid. I, f I forgot that for a moment. So yeah, we are the last fate hope of humanity, but not quite in the way I was interpreting it. It also explains why everything is so abandoned. Though sadly, multiple dimension theory also explains why we might be having all this RNG involved as well. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I almost forgot to retrieve drone 2. <laughs> Whoopsie. That's what I get for getting distracted, isn't it? It's like a, hey, let's go. By the way, you're leaving a drone behind. Whoops. Exit. There we go. Yeah, this is um, honestly the kind of story I would come up with. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really chuffed with it. It's like, wow. Definite points of effort there. And I didn't see it coming either, which is even better. Uh, scrap Brandon because he's not as good as um, Ke Kelly. And then let's go to the Dauntless and just pick it clean. So, so, so um, oh, issued a warning. Everyone sterilizes the water before drinking or washing. Last time we need is an epidemic, and next time, blah, 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 when I tell you when something doesn't, um, I guess that says, listen, when I tell you that something doesn't taste right. Get the blah, 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 the highest levels of contaminates and isolate the supply. I'm already rounding up a committee so a full-scale investigation into how the hell this ever happened can commence immediately. Well, that's not promising at all. So yeah, I'm, basically I'm thinking there's two ways I can interpret LB sharing this information with me. First off is that it's major spoilers and it's like, oh, you've spoiled it. I wanted, to, I, I was struggling to find any kind of leads, but I want to find this stuff out for myself. But the fact that he did implies to me that maybe I couldn't have found this stuff out by myself. Either that or it's delivered randomly all over the place, so, well, it is, it's all delivered randomly all over the place, that's the thing. That's part of this game, it's piecing it all together. So, I'm going with the second interpretation that, um, that I couldn't have come across this or put it together in such a concise manner by myself with with what I can find. <coughs> Excuse me. Sudden sneeze. Ugh. So yeah. I'm not normally one that goes for spoilers, but I think in this case it's probably warranted because I couldn't have worked it out by myself, or I was going completely off the wrong track. Oh, bugger. Timer. 1 minute 10, I am okay. But there is nasty green stuff in the ship. Nothing in here, except for the, the nasty, nasty green stuff. Stealth, D36. Nothing in here. Okay, timer. 
D19 needs to open, and then it's like, back to the ship now, please, because we're about to run out of time. Look at me! I am respecting the spawn... The, not the spawn timer, the slime timer. Oof. Hmm. Well, it's bound to happen sooner or later, to be fair. Got all of that, good. Dean, uh, close all. Flag R6 because that is a nasty, nasty place. I do not want to go in there. Uh, D20. Grab. So that'll get Haley towed back to the ship. Unless, um, of course, Drone 3 gets jammed. Probably will because it's trying to get past Haley. Yeah, there we go. Cancelled navigation. So yeah, I don't know what to make of it, but I do think that it's stuff that I wouldn't have worked out by myself. So, thank you for that, LB. You have shed some interesting light on this situation. Okay. And nothing in here except for a turret. Okay, cool. Time thirty six. I need to get back. <sighs> the flipping slime timer. Counting the time, waiting for it to let me go back in. There we go. Okay. The thing is, it's also encouraged me to leave the doors open as well. So, there, I am running a risk of um, ship radiation contamination and stuff like that by doing it this way. Because if something breaks and I can't get the room powered and closed to seal it off in time... Ooh. Sensor module. Okay. So if, if that happens then it would be a bit of an issue. Uh, D35, nav, 2, 1. Because I need, I need drone 2 over here. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a conundrum really. Grab the sensor. And I've just recalled the drone. Time is 5 minutes 7. Okay, there's time to check out another room or two. Well, I think I can only check room 9 now before relocating to a different generator. But this is, um, this is me playing by the timer. So it's like, hmm. Just go through. Honestly, I find this kind of irritating trying to play by the time. You, you know, it's uh, this thing that's not easily clear. I've got to manually check it, and it's like. Hmm. Oh, I'm no way I'm going to make it back in time. The best I can do is get drone 2 out of place so the generator room doesn't get affected. And I've lost signal on drone 1, which is great timing, actually. Because I can't tell now if there's a slime in here or not. Uh, oh no, has gone blind. Can't see a thing. Oh, well, at least I parked him in the middle of the room roughly, so he should be okay for a little while, but... I can't really explore with him until the, s the feed comes back. 
which kind of sucks, but oh well. Is there any slime in here with the owner? No, there is not. Ugh. However, room 13 should have been clear. Though that said, I did not, I've not found any sign of what my next opponent is, so. Oh, good, there's a vent. I think I only need his optics checks. Nothing in here. Okay, good. Right. Um, recall time. Yep, yeah, about to hit the time again. But it is now time to relocate to another generator, the one in room five. So I'm pushing forward. And I need to be careful because, of course, drone one is currently blind. So I'm actually relying on drone three to tell me what's going on. <laughs> That's kind of bad. Okay, drone three. Um, Power this section up, please. Not seeing anything. Okay. Close it all off. D40. Oh, finally. Thank you, Drone 1. Good to have your video signal back. Oof. Loving slacker. There we go. And power. I guess Drone 3 is going to live here for the moment. Right. Come on, owner. Walkies need to get you forward to check more things. Hmm. Okay, so this should be fine. Not the airlock though, that's good. Oh wait, I stopped gathering, so Nothing in there. Okay. Stealth D. No, stealth, please. D38. Oh, look, another, just another slime room. Well, I think I know where some of the slime's gone. <laughs> so. Okay, nothing in here. D16. Are you. Yep, you are completely clogged up. There is nothing of use in you, though. So. I feel just fine doing this venting you all out into space. So, ha. D40, D38. Nav all R16, A2, D39, end time. Get out of there. Oh. Just as the timer went off, so where, where will this line be? Not in here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I finding I'm finding this a bit irritating. <laughs> yeah, sad but true. Oh, jeez. D37, stealth, D15. Ah, next generator. Nothing in here. Right. Push through. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Right. Loot. Nav. Navigates 2 to R7. Actually, need to open D16. Let's reconfigure my route back. 38 can close. D17 can close. Nav 2 to R. No. I need 17 to stay open, actually. Timer, what are you saying? 11.24. Oh, darn it. Retreat! This is... Ah! I don't like this. I'm sorry, I spent most of the video just like complaining about 
obeying the slime time, haven't I? Because it's like... It, it's, it's forcing me to stop and slow down. And it's like... Why? I don't want to do this. And honestly, um, it's making the video overrun purely because of the time I've spent dealing with the slime timer. So it's like... I don't see why I should be doing it. It's kind of like... Uh. And honestly, this is why I was struggling to even start respecting the slime timer in the first place. Yes, it's useful, but... It's also kind of irritating. At least to me. Don't know about anyone else, but it is, it is to me. So... Uh. It's trying to make use of every mechanic when I just feel like I don't need to and it feels like busy work and it's like... And honestly, I think this is the first time I've outright complained about it, isn't it? Oh jeez, hello Slimer. I almost drove Ona straight into you. So... Hmm. That room is apparently lost to the slime. And I've not seen what the other infestation type is, so... That means it must have been um, Swarm. Because I've not seen anything else. And yep, that's completely closed off. Okay. I think that's it. Oh no, there, there's still a room right below me. Uh, can I be bothered to do it? You know what, sure. Probably full of slime though. Slime time is coming up. I do not care. I am not going to respect the timer. No. The timer can go do something unpleasant. I don't care about it anymore. Ah, Leaper. Nothing in there though is glance, so get the heck out of here. There we go. Wreck complete. And all of that is done. And they both get stuck on that. <laughs> Gotta love their navigation routines. Anyway, exit. Leave this place. New gained Haley. Okay. I keep hoping I'll find another four slotter, but I've not seen them in a long time, so. I think that might be it for the four slotters. There are probably one or two left somewhere, but. The problem is finding them. But anyway, this has been Iron Mark 3. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And I'll catch you all some other time. See you all later. Oh, Duskers. Mm.